This video is not about the typical fish like snapper, damsels, trumpets, or the ever-present chromis. There are so many chromis here. If I had a nickel for every chromis we saw, my acerbic mood about camera and scuba equipment import fees would certainly improve. No, this video highlights the best things we saw while diving last month. Our definition of best includes sea life we typically don't see more than a few times a year. If you only have a week or two in Aruba, you may not see all of these, but it sure would be fun to try, wouldn't it? Anyway, here's our top 15, in no particular order. Number one, the warty side gill slug. We spotted this little guy making a break for it across the sand a little way from the Renaissance barge shipwreck. Number two, flying grenard. One of the dive guides mentioned seeing a flying grenard at Trace Tropi, but we didn't see any on our first few dives. On our seventh, we found a grassy patch with this guy swim crawling. I got Leslie's attention and we tag teamed the documentation. Number three, King Helmet. That same Trace Trappy dive proved very fruitful as I initially spotted what appeared to be a good sized rock. It moved a bit but not with the water motion and upon closer inspection I saw it had a lip. It was only after we got home that I was able to look it up and discover it was a King Helmet. When in doubt, get footage. Number four, Nassau Grouper. There are a fair amount of grouper here, but this was the first Nassau grouper I've seen since we've been here. Number five, Southern Sunnets. At first I thought these were Barracuda, but Sunnets have no obvious markings and a pale yellow body stripe. Number six, Mutton Hamlet. Hamlets haven't been an everyday occurrence for us, but we have seen a fair number of butter hamlets and a few masked hamlets. This is the first time we saw a mutton version. Number seven, cotton wick. Trace Trappy is pretty much our favorite shore dive in Aruba so far. These cotton wicks were quite a distance from the shore, but straight out from the entrance. Number eight, black and white crinoid. Leslie and I saw crinoids on just about every dive when we were in Indonesia, but we hadn't really seen them in the Caribbean until this trip. Number nine, flaming reef lobster. I couldn't get a lot of footage of this guy as he was tucked into a porthole and our group was moving pretty fast. Still, it was a great find. Number 10, painted tunicates. Tunicates are another one of those things we saw quite a bit of in Indonesia, but not so much here. Number 11, sand dollar. While I remember getting these as souvenirs from my grandmother returning from Florida when I was a kid, I hadn't really seen a sand dollar in the wild until this dive. Number 12, artichoke or solitary disc coral. Not everyone gets excited about coral, but these artichoke slash solitary disc corals are like little treasures. Number 13, angelfish and trumpet fish, BFFs. As I was capturing the 100 foot depth footage at Hole in the Wall, I spotted these two sticking together like glue. I'll have to read up on these two to see if the pairing is normal, and if so, why? Number 14, Blue Tang. In the shallow reef near the Jane Sea shipwreck, Leslie spotted this hungry school of blue tang munching their way through the reef, so I tailed them for a little bit. Number 15, Music Volute. Manga Halto isn't exactly exploding with life like some of the other sites, but we have seen some pretty interesting things, like these music volutes. Please come back to see more of our underwater escapades. Thoughtful comments and suggestions are always appreciated, and hit the subscribe and notification buttons if you want to see our latest videos as soon as they are released.